I think that they've totally gone away from hand signals now and gone to the radio exclusively. Oh, uh, yes, or sir. Basically, Boy, that, yeah. that, that is the best career. Is that right, Matt? They are. Uh, you put, yeah. Well, mm -hmm. I remember when that was started to take effect. Some of the old conductors yeah. would tell us that we're going to switch. Now, don't, don't use that radio. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's going to take a man off the job. Right. Yeah. 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 And sure enough, it did. It took yeah. three or four men yeah. off the job. It actually took all of them off the job when I... Shortly before I retired, mm -hmm. they had two men on a train. Engineer and a conductor. Mm -hmm. And then they coming out with this kind of a thing where they had coal engineers. Meaning that there's something the engineer could permit you to run under his supervision if you were familiar with the company. And that way, you know, we would run the plane a lot of times. Uh, not through terminals necessary, but switching and out on the road trips. If the engineer was tired of you, you had to use the bathroom or something like that, we'll just tell you, well, this is pretty smooth territory. You run, don't, don't, don't. We'll tell you what not to do and what to do. <laughs> and of course, we learned how to let off a little air and slow down the plane or stop a plane up. That's up, but I have switched to every night. <laughs> you know, the engineer is sitting over there and taking his time. He's you know, tired. I was driving 75 miles over the work. Then we work all night, sometimes 12, 14 hours. Mm -hmm. And then we have to drive back home if we chose not to uh, uh, go, go to a hotel or a rest place that they, put, they would pay the bill for. Now, that was a time in there that they did not pay. You, uh, uh, you had to pay for your own room. I can remember when I first hired out, uh, things was pretty fair, but things were, in other words, integration was just beginning to take. They weren't used to black people on the railroad. You know, they weren't used to being a, a, you know, a train or, 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 or working on the railroad. And the facilities that they had for you, yeah, you had to pay, but now some people, they wouldn't, uh, hotel there in uh, Texarkana we go to the waitress wouldn't wait on us when you were black the waitress would not wait on you they would walk past you all the while you were there just like you want to there and then the man would come out of the kitchen and uh, of course you give him the order and he'd take him to eat you know. but now the rooms uh, I'm sure we, we, we don't know but I'm sure that we would get as far as room to it in the black. <laughs> you know, that's, that's, that's just, that used to be a normal procedure. You know, uh, uh, and most of, mostly all of the South, I'm sure, are more the same way in certain places. But, uh, <coughs> people, just ignorant of people, they did not know. They thought that there was something wrong with me, but now I never have been able to figure out why that a, a person could cook prepare the food in the kitchen. <laughs> and then couldn't sit down and table. I was trained. I was looking around and I was going to have to have a little bit. Actually, when I came out, when I was uh, coming from overseas, I still had on the uniform and we stopped in Abilene and I was on the bus riding it back. Uh, Italy was going to refuse to serve me and uh because I was the only animal. Two stripes, all of my medals and everything on the and, and, and stealing uniforms. Some of the guys that I served with over there was on the bus. And I tell you what, some of those guys told me you're not gonna you're not gonna what? You're not gonna be weak, you're not gonna serve me. We'll tear this. It changed my whole year. We'll do it. But, you know, just yeah. kind of strange things like that. Billy, that was a way of life. Billy, if it's any consolation, 
Nat King Cole, Ella Fitzgerald, Duke Ellington, and Statsmo weren't even allowed in hotels. Um, I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. Billy? Billy, come. Yeah. 